Zoro episode three called The Bet. And it does two things that the first two episodes have not done yet. It expands the world and it ends on a cliffhanger. Oh my, oh my, Polly back here on the Latino Sun. We have per episodic reviews here on the channel. Make sure you check them all out. And we're having a lot of fun. I got to tell you, this is another great episode. Very different than episode two, which tells me that there's this huge uh big sweeping smart storytelling on all 10 episodes you only have three directors working all 10 episodes and it shows it shows that there's a cohesion there that there is a um a a uniform look and then also too with all the stories going all, all in one all towards one direction so i'm really excited for that now the story is that <clears throat> a chinese woman is is lost in a bet and goes with Ramirez and her sister puts the mark of Zorro on her house where she's living at and Zorro shows up but he don't understand her because <laughs> he doesn't she doesn't speak Spanish and he definitely doesn't speak Chinese great banter there uh hey you talk about Latinos hiring Asians Alan Ning what's up man how come I never see Asians hiring Latinos what's up I kid, I kid Alan Ning, but it's all seriousness. Um, it's a cool subplot where you get to see Chinatown, you get to see the relationships of what's going on with the Chinese and California in this town of Los Angeles, right? So Zoro goes to save the woman, and that is a fun time because he's got to go talk to the head Chinese dude who lost her in a bet. And yes, there is some fun in hallway daredevil style action that happens at the chinaman's place it's so cool man and the the chinese dude is always kind of uh waxing poetic on confucius so that, that's that's a lot of fun don diego zorro saves the lady and there's a uh, more banter with bernardo and this this whole language thing so he finds out that um that ramirez and uh you know that this whole thing of betting and possibly more uh, slavery and maybe some sort of just very bad behavior has been happening in uh, in Los Angeles, and he's not happy with that. And he wonders about his legacy of his father because Ramirez was very close to his father. <clears throat> so that bothers him. He checks into with Lolita, who had been injured, and she's faring a lot better. Being the uh, independent lady that she is, she tracks down a puma and, yeah, uh, accidentally saves Don Diego de la Vega's uh, life. And there's a quick little banter there. She's not really in it a lot. There's actually a, a real important subplot brewing with her mom, Lucia, and the Russian lady. So that is something to look out for because... There's just a moment there at a big dinner where Lucia's trying to do something uh, that gets the attention of the Russian lady. And we won't kind of tell you what it is because I do want you to, to check it out for yourself. I got to tell you, man, again, there's so many storylines going on that uh, it, it's incredible to see uh, fun writing, great characters all working as one. You just don't see that with a lot of these uh, television shows uh, that are genre specific. So, the big thing here is Zorro, Don Diego de la Vega, is trying to find that balance. He does not have a problem now with um, um, delivering justice to bad people. And you see that. He does it with confidence. What he's having a hard time doing is playing the persona of Don Diego now. Uh, accepting in his face, in public, the whipping of uh, like the Chinese mine workers. Uh, this the mal uh, uh, conditions that they're living in, and in the in the, in the uh, just the horrible behavior that is um, attributed towards him, and you can see it bothers him, and and it, as it should because that's who Zoro is, and I think it's I think it's absolutely wonderful, and to wrap up that kind of feeling that his his legend has grown, you know the Chinese girl that initially wrote the Z down, she is just so excited. To have met Zoro is like this legend is growing. She's like, oh my God, you're real. Of course, she says that in Chinese, but um, you're getting that the legend is growing, that it's not, Zoro is not just for, <clears throat> you know, the, the Indians or the mestizos or the Mexicans. He's there for everyone. And I, that is 
That is that is awesome. That is awesome. So I said this ends in a cliffhanger. Before I get to that, he visits Don Diego. He visits Alejandro, his his father's grave. Very touching moment. And as he leaves and lays down flowers, a mysterious woman shows up as well, an older woman, played by Cecilia Suarez. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't say anything. She lays down flowers as well. She gets in her in her in her uh, stagecoach, and it has the GM kind of a uh, coat of arms there. Then we cut to New York, New York of all places, and uh, this I I, I got to get some more information. But this new character gets the gets these gets these papers, uh, in as far as these people who are wanted in California. Listen, everyone wants Don Diego de la Vega's land to where the this group from 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 New York, from New York and they're definitely American. I don't know if they're Pinkertons or who are they, but they want they are going to California and they want his land, but they got to like they got to take out some people who are wanted. I mean, this is this is really becoming a bigger scope situation here and look, I'm all for it. Now, what happens is that the Chinese woman, May, that he saved, runs away. She gets scared and she runs away from Zorro's cave. She steals a tor- tornado by, you know, but tornado comes back. And she gets caught again uh, at Ramirez's place. So Ramirez lays a trap and captures Zorro. And at the very end of, the, of this episode, Ramirez, who's great actor, this guy. All the actors are just killing it in this show takes off Zorro's mask and he's like Don Diego why am I not surprised and he says look man I was there I was there when they pulled the trigger and killed your dad I was there I mean he's such a villain oh god he's just ugh, ugh. and right before he shoots him Don Diego says just give me this request tell me who killed my father it's like, ah, oh, you'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's like, no, I want you to go to hell. And you can go. He'll tell him when you meet him in hell. I was just like, what is going on? What did he do? What what secret is does the, the, did the father take to the grave of him? I mean, there's just so much, right, that we still don't know. And I'm like, yes, that's how it should be. Ugh, you don't want to spill it all. This, these people know how to tell stories. And it ends. And it's a cliffhanger. It's a complete cliffhanger. Episode four is called R- Revenge, so you know some some some's gonna wrap up there. Again, I like this episode in that they introduce brand new characters. Like I said, the world becomes bigger, but the whole thing of introducing more characters in the city of Los Angeles in that pueblo is just right on the money with great storytelling. Uh, I, music is fantastic. Uh, I, I'm seeing a great soundtrack at the end of every episode they have a new song play playing this is rock and roll man the, you know the the vibe is getting just more and more bold more and more more and more uh confidence in in this in the directing in the uh, the look and feel and, and uh, listen some of that fighting was like the best fighting of the um of the uh, of the show so far okay that's uh my review uh spoilers and all that good stuff uh, I'm gonna give this one the same as before, an 8.5. This is fantastic storytelling. It's different than the episode before, which I loved so much. This adds to it. This expands on it. There's other things I did leave out. I couldn't get to everything, but that's all right because I want you to go and see it. It's called the Bet. Um, let's. Uh, okay, so th- there's my rating. Let's give you guys another video right here. Another. Zoro-centric video that you need to see right now. Don't go anywhere else until you see this video right now. Then come on back for more reviews here in the Latino Slant Zoro 2024. Just to serve, baby.